Welcome to the Medical Staff Voice Live. I'm Dr. Stan Froswijk, Chief Medical Officer at Community Memorial Health System. And I'm joined today by Dr. Wang, Pain Management Anesthesia Specialty. Welcome, Dr. Wang. Thank you for having me, Dr. Stan. It's great to be here. Oh, you're sure welcome. This is a great opportunity for our medical staff and community to learn more about you and your practice. In order to do so, we have a few questions that will enlighten us and give us a better understanding of your specialty. Sure. First of all, where are you from? Where was your training? And uh, what brought you to Ventura? Okay. Well, my family moved to the United States from China when I was a little kid. I spent the majority of my childhood um, here in Southern California. I attended the University of Med uh, California, Berkeley for my undergraduate studies, and I majored in molecular and cell biology. After college uh, graduation, I moved down to the South and attended Tulane University School of Medicine for my medical school. Um, after spending a few years in New Orleans, I came back to su sunny Southern California and did my residency training in anesthesiology at Loma Linda University Medical Center. After four years of residency, um, I also did my uh, fellowship in pain medicine at Loma Linda. Um, I was recruited to join the medical staff here at CMH right after my fellowship training. I have to say that um, I've been enjoying and loving everything that Ventura has to offer ever since I moved here about a year and a half ago. I'm so glad to hear that because you have been an incredible asset to our uh, medical and uh, community at large, so really appreciate it. You, you know, many people don't understand, most people understand what an anesthesiologist does, but you're actually <clears throat> in a unique subspecialty of anesthesia, yes. mm -hmm. and most people do not know what pain management means. So if you could explain that and perhaps some of the procedures you do that exemplify what your specialty entails. Yeah, sure. Um, I practice mostly interventional pain management nowadays, even though I still do enjoy providing anesthesia care in the operating room from time to time. Um, I would like to think of pain management as an like approach to be better able to treat chronic and acute pain. Um, the area that I focus on mainly involve um, diagnosis and treatment of um, acute, chronic, and persistent pain in different body areas um, through utilizing um, x-ray and ultrasound-guided uh, techniques. And then um, along with these techniques with uh, other treatment modalities to better help the patient. Um, I would think of uh, intervention, no pain management as a newer approach. Back in the days, um, we, when we talk about pain management, um, most of the pain management doctors back in the days mostly utilized just uh, opiates or medications to help manage the patient's pain. However, with the newer and more advanced in uh, interventional tr pain management, I can actually use different procedures to actually address the root of the cause of the pain issues. Um, some of the procedures that I perform include um, diagnostic and the therapeutic nerve blocks, um, radiofrequency ablations, epidural steroid injections, um, as well as uh, spinal cord uh, stimulator implants. Um, some of the body areas that I specialize in include the uh, cervical spine, thoracic spine, as well as the lumbar spine. I also treat uh, different joints and bursas in the peripheries um, through different uh, injections and nerve blocks. Um, I think with this newer approach, um, we can definitely minimize the amount of opiates that we use in terms of treating chronic pain issues. Well, that is a great turn in the right direction for so much of pain management. Yes. Well, I can speak personally, and I don't mind mentioning it. Uh, uh, you treated a patient of mine with a disc uh, protrusion and severe sciatica, who actually even had a little bit of a loss of a reflex in her knee. And sure enough, her knee reflex is back and her pain is miraculously improved, so thank you. I'm really glad. <laughs> Let me understand, uh, and for our audience, uh, what what ages do you treat? Do you, what are the general ages you consider patients? Now, most of my patient population consists of um, age of 18 and up. However, I do see occasionally um, pediatric patients from the age of 10 and up. 
That's good to know. Thank you. That's helpful. Uh, where is your practice actually located? Um, I'm currently seeing patients uh, at CMH's outpatient ambulatory clinics, including the Center for Family Health in both Oxnard and Camarillo. I also see patients here at in Ventura at the MMG Specialty Clinic with the residents once a week as well. Very good. And I know for a fact that you do many of your uh, interventional injections and such in our yes. pain management center in the hospital. That's correct. Uh, most of the uh, procedures I perform, including surgeries, are all done here at CMH. Good. Thank you. That's, that's helpful to know. Well, this really helps our community understand the availability of your services. Now that we understand your professional performance, we're kind of interested in what are your outside interests, hobbies, involved in any, you know, sports, well, um, outside of work, I do enjoy outdoor activities such as hiking, camping, and fishing. I guess one of the biggest advantages of being in Ventura County is that there's no shortage of like outdoor places to explore outside of work, and especially on the weekends. Well, I share your sentiment on that, and that's probably what keeps most of us or brought most of us here. Yes. Well, great. Uh, this third portion that I really particularly enjoy because it gives us a, a little bit of insight into your personality is called this or that. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of stream of consciousness, no right or wrong answer. And I'll go through a few questions. Okay. One, when on an airplane, do you prefer the window or aisle seat? That's a very good question. I always select the window seat <laughs> because I like to enjoy the, the scenery during take take off and landing, so always uh, window seat. No Very way. nice. So uh, what's, what's most uh, interesting for you? A day in the office or a day in the surgical center? Mm, that's a tough one. Um, as an anesthesiologist by training, I always like to spend time in the operating room or the procedure area. So I would say a surgery center is definitely. Nice, nice. <clears throat> if, you be, if you hadn't become a physician, what was your backup plan or did you have one? Well, when I was younger, I always wanted to be a college professor, actually. I actually really enjoy science um, and the research, but I just didn't really enjoy like the, the publication and the, the stuff that you need to do to become tenured. You didn't so, want that publish or perish lifestyle. Huh? Yes, yes. So definitely I would, if I had a second choice or backup plan, I would consider being a college professor. That's very interesting. Uh, if you had a superpower, being invisible or flying? Ooh. <laughs> I would like to be like a bird, so I would say flying. Sounds perfect. If you could compare yourself with any animal, which would it be and why? Well, that's a really tough question. I think I would like to be an eagle, just like a bird, you know, that will allow me to fly and see the horizon, you know, very far. So I would say like a bird. And at the top of the predatory scale. Like exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best advice you would give your high school self? Study more, be more careful driving, or maybe something more profound than that even? I think after spending so many years in training, I will probably tell myself that everything will be okay because like when we're in high school, we will always have to worry about like the SAT, like the next midterm, and then college is the same thing about getting into medical school. But at the end, I would say, I will probably tell myself that everything will be okay. That's a great philosophy. I love that. Um, when you were in medical school, what was your favorite subject? Um, I would say physi uh, physiology is probably my favorite because, um, yeah, I mean, I, I majored in science in undergrad, but I do think that the physiology is really what I enjoy the most in medical school. Many physicians say that. Yeah. That's very interesting. When traveling in an automobile, would you rather be the driver or the passenger? Definitely the driver. I like to be in control. <laughs> <laughs> Card games or board games, and which would you like to play? Mm. I think when I was younger, I enjoyed like board games, like the classics, like Monopoly with mm -hmm. friends, you know. So I will go with board games. Good, very good. And what is the most interesting thing about you that we would not learn 
from your resume alone? Wow. That's pretty tough. <laughs> I think I'm a pretty easygoing person. I guess most people say about that, you know, because like sometimes people don't really notice about that. But after I get along with you, I mean, I'm pretty easygoing. I think most of people don't think that. Well, it, I think you show it very nicely here today. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for tuning in to learn more about Dr. Wang. For more information on all the services and specialties offered at Community Memorial Health System, visit cmhshealth.org. And be sure to like and subscribe for more from your community health system. Thank you, Dr. Wang. Thank you, Dr. Sen. My pleasure.